I made it back home, safe and sound. I don't expect this video to be too long. This is not going to be about uh, clips of the trip or anything of that sort because I haven't edited them yet. Uh, I got back, washed my clothes, I had a lot of sleep to catch up on, a lot of things I had to deal with, and today I'm finally free to do what I need to do, and that's going to be editing clips as soon as I'm done with this video. I'm going to upload this. I just wanted to follow up. Um, I got a little morbid or maudlin or <laughs> emotional on that last video. I got a ton of messages on it about what a big heart I have and what a good man I I appreciate the sentiment. I really do. And that's what motivated me to do this short video. But I honestly, truly do not believe there's many people that would have been in that situation that wouldn't have done the same or more. Uh, there was nothing special about what I did. It was minor. It wasn't even a drop in the bucket. Uh, but I wanted to point out firsthand what I've been seeing crossing the border these last few times, particularly this, particularly this last time. Um, it's tragic and I just wanted you to know firsthand that it's real. Now, having said that, I also want to mention, as I did um, two videos ago when I came back after a month of illness, that how much I appreciate my Patreon viewers. It's not that I don't appreciate other viewers, but other viewers come and they go and they subscribe, and uh, which is really important right now. But Patreon viewers actually help fund the things that I do. And while it may not be a huge amount, that little bit makes a difference and that little bit makes it possible for me to keep doing these. Unless, of course, Google decides to cancel my channel. And I am at risk at that, although um, in my last ask for subscribers, I did get a flurry of subscribers, but we're about 150 away from me saving this channel before the 20th of this month. It's doable, but if you think about how many per day that's got to be, that, that's, it's a lot. So we shall see. I hope that's the case. Um, because the only place left for me that I know of would be directly on my Patreon channel. And I want all of this information that I do give in most of these videos uh, to get out there. That's the whole purpose. It's so they're not hidden behind a Patreon wall. But those Patreon viewers who stuck with me and didn't cancel when I was out for a month and a lot of people didn't even know what was going on, they hung in there with me and I am so appreciative of that that I am going to do some special things for those Patreon viewers going forward. One is I will have a standing offer for a Skype call if you have questions and you don't want to email and message back and forth and back and forth and clarification. If you want, uh, want me to get on the Skype call and talk to me and ask whatever questions you have, that will be available to you as a Patreon viewer. I stopped doing Skype calls almost a year ago because of the problems I was having. People not showing up, wasted my day. So I'm going to do Skype calls again, but I'm going to restrict it to the Patreon viewers as a thank you for what they do. And the other thing is I will post once or twice a month a, view, a video specifically for them. Now, to uphold the promise that I made to never put up for sale videos I have on information, those videos will not have any information that you'll be missing out on as a regular viewer or as a new viewer as far as Cuenca, Ecuador or my trips to Colombia, those will all be public domain, assuming, of course, that I still have my YouTube channel. 
those will all be available uh, free of charge and I've promised in the past that I would do that I will continue to do that but for the patreon viewers I will create something once or twice a month in particular for them um, as a thank you so those are two new things that I'm going to implement and that's because of the loyalty you have shown I want to give that back to you so what else do we have going on Super Bowl weekend is here now my team's not in it it's almost never in it anymore I'm a diehard Buffalo Bills fan and the motto of a Buffalo Bills fan is there's always next year and we've been always next yearing for what is this 16 17 years 18 I don't know a lot of years although they did make the playoffs this year for the first time since 1999 but it's a wonderful, wholesome, good team that's avoided all of the crap that infects the NFL. And I will always appreciate what they've given to me. I used to attend their events. I used to have season tickets. I would be on their invitation list to close parties. Back in the day when uh, I was important. Um, and I got to know the people involved in the organization. And I... I truly have a place in my heart for them. But they're not in it. And our mortal enemy, Tom Brady and the New England Patriots are. And it pains me because they're in the AFC. And so I kind of have to cheer for them, even though they're the nemesis. Um, so what am I going to do? I'm going to go to Santa Canela. And as many of you will know or remember, I did a video on the Super Bowl last year at Santa Canela. Now they were relatively new, uh, newly opened at that time. Well, I'm going back this year. I don't know if I'm going to do a video or not. I'm going with a friend and I think I, I may not do a video. It's, I've already kind of done that. But I'm going to go and just relax. They've got a barbecue dinner. At 3.30 they close and it becomes a private party. And that's because of the laws here. There's a vote going on and uh, alcohol can't be sold during that vote. But if it's a private party or in your own house, yes, it can. Now, I'm not a big drinker, but um, I want to go have the barbecue dinner. I, the owner is a friend. His wife is a friend. I've known them for a while now. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to the party and I'm... They're providing me with a room. It's also a, a hotel. They're going to uh, provide me with a room. So at 11 or 12 or whenever the thing ends, I don't have to make my way in a taxi. I just don't have to contend with that. So I just go up and crash in the room and then come back home on Monday. So that's going to be my Super Bowl weekend. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, should be some fun. I do plan on going back to Columbia probably the end of this month. It may go into March, but probably the end of this month, around the 25th maybe. Um, and of course, this next time I'll be able to take you along. I'll be caught up on everything. I don't expect to be sick. Now in this last video I did, you heard my voice was a mess compared to the one before. That's because I got up in altitude in Tulcan. Uh, the altitude is pretty high and it affects my lungs and that was affecting me. Since I've been back here in Cuenca, it's kind of stabilizing. Here my voice is almost normal. It's got a little crack to it. I do cough a little bit. I am getting a little winded, but it's not bad. It's definitely an improvement from before I left, so I would assume in the next couple weeks I'll be back to normal completely. And again, there's no illness involved. The only thing is I, there's a flu epidemic going on and I'm just hoping, hoping, praying, God, please don't let me catch that flu because it, I don't know what it'll do to me. It'll probably devastate me. Maybe my lungs will fall out on the ground. So here's to not catching the flu. I come home to the house and Sandy's sniffling and she thinks she's gonna get the flu and her little daughter has been sniffling and Audrey has been sniffling and Martin he actually didn't go to his swimming lessons because he's got some sinus thing so I feel like I'm in a cesspool of virus here 
and I'm keeping my distance from everybody and I, I really don't want to catch it, at, at least at this point. So, is there anything else? That about sums it up. So I'm going to, I'm, I'll quick edit this one, cut out some stupid things that I said. That would be the video, wouldn't it? And then I'll get it uploaded. And as soon as I do that, I'm going to get to work on some real videos that you actually watch this channel for. When it's not about me, when it's about what's going on in Cuenca, what do I do in Cuenca, um, and what about my trip to Colombia, and how is it in Colombia. A lot of people are interested about Colombia, and they should be. It's a wonderful place. So, um, I'll see you soon. Thank you for your support. And last thing I will say, please, if you want to keep this channel going, I need subscriptions. Please subscribe. Anybody you know, please ask them to subscribe. If I don't get it, the channel is gone. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. You know you're cool.